Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. Let's get right into the reading. Aquarius, let's see what's up for the month of March 2021. Start with the Six of Swords. That card came up twice when I was shuffling. Six of Swords. Messages for the sign of Aquarius. Sorry for the noise. Five of Wands. Eight of Cups. Messages for the sign of Aquarius for the month of March 2021. Thank you. Two of Wands. A Queen of Pentacles. Let me just pull these down. Four of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands, Queen of Cups. And the Tower. Well, well. Well, well, Aquarius. Um, let's dive right in. You have the Six of Swords, which is moving away from something. You're moving away from something tumultuous. Something was difficult for you. Uh, we will pull cards. We will clarify to see if this was a romantic situation or a life situation. But you are definitely moving forward for some from something that was not um that you weren't comfortable with not only you weren't comfortable with but there was conflict um we because we have the five of wands right next to it and the five of wands is you know not only about conflict but it is also um about um you know tension you know competition competition and tension and you know a disagreement so you know you you might have had a relationship with that went south uh, because maybe someone I, I'm just uh, guessing here that that might have um, cheated on you or um, you know and and brought tension no matter what to the situation to the relationship to uh, we will see what this is related to but you are moving on you're moving on because of this conflict uh you might have had you know like i said you might have had uh, a conflict within a relationship or a job or a life situation but this is definitely finding calmer waters uh being able to get out of the situation and move on wasn't easy wasn't easy but you're you're doing that and you are um disappointed you know you're withdrawing you're you, you're escaping from this situation and you're withdrawing you know within yourself um you 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 want to you 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 wanted this you're disappointed we will see if this was um 
uh, a relationship. I, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming towards the relationship because we have the four of wands and that is, you know, celebrations can be marriage, can be family. You know, it's a lot about celebrating within the family and, um, you, you have the, but you know, so is this something that you wanted, you know, wanting to marry this person, wanted to move in with this person, wanted to, you know, uh, make things happen. And, you know, you, I'm sorry to, you know, that that happened to you, but you know, this person didn't, wasn't, you know, probably very honest. Um, but you're moving on. In the month of March, you're moving forward. Your progress is being made. You're preparing for the future. And you, you're, you're planning, you're making decisions, and you're discovering new people, new ways, new options. And um, this is making you, you know, move forward. At least you're planning. You know where you're going. You're planning. Because the Queen of Pentacles, she knows the queen of pentacles knows um what she wants understands where she is going and how she's going to get there she's very wise she's very um uh very caring um and uh she she she's very nurturing she's someone that you know is comforting down to earth and um uh she, she helps to yeah she 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 helps to maneuver you where you know where you can achieve your goals so i i'm thinking that this is your energy um aquarius you are, or someone helping you, but this is the, the energy they are giving you that now you can achieve your goals. Again, not gender specific. Um, these are just energies. Uh, but the queen will help you along the way. The queen will help you achieve this that you are preparing for um, Aquarius. So even if it was rough and this situation you know, had you in a conflict and you had to move out of it because this person wasn't, wasn't for you. And, um, we'll pull cards. You're moving out of it, making progress with the help of this can be family. This can be friends, but I also think this is your energy that you now are, you're, you're Aquarius. You're very caring. You're very, you're, 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 you're very nurturing. And, um, you're a homebody and you, you, you know, now, you know, um, you, you will always show people love Aquarius and, and if this is not your energy, this is another person that is extremely caring in your life. And, you know, someone that, that, um, someone with high standards and you know i i'm almost thinking that this is you aquarius because you are someone that has high standards and is really hoping for uh someone a partnership a relationship that has you know the same standards equal standards that you have in life and you know you want you want that same thing in your relationship that's why i'm thinking this was a relationship here and this is not you know someone that had the same um the same point of view of a relationship that you had and that not um that didn't have the same standards and that um now you are moving forward with this energy knowing what you want because you have the queen you have the queen of pentacles and you also have the king of wands so you're you are moving forward into life you know a more abundant life a more um 
a, a more satisfactory life we you know with your family friends that are helping you there might be helping finance helping you financially but they are definitely helping you along the way um caring for you loving for you because of this situation and you have the tower you have the tower at the end of the month which is telling me that you have um you have this wake up call where all of a sudden you understand that you know aha now you know what happened and you know that this is not going to happen anymore you're not going to let it happen to you anymore you're not going to get let people or things you know implode your relationships and um you 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 have this aha moment at the end of the at the end of the month and good for you aquarius and you have a lot of people here aquarius helping you out this for some reason this resembles the the uh, reading of uh, leo um, you have a lot of people helping you out. You have your energies. You have very good energies, uh, Aquarius, pushing you forward uh, emotionally. The Queen of Cups is, you know, has ha holds her emotions on her, you know, her heart on her sleeve. She is a beautiful person, but sometimes she lets, you know, emotions overwhelm her and but she's intuitive and she she she's very supportive so you might have all these people helping you out with this situation that you were in that you're getting out of right now you're planning for the future with these people that are with you you might meet someone new let's see let's see if the one of these person is someone that's coming back into your life for you know that offering you love but the queen of cups is you know, she she will always be there for you. She will always lend you, you know, lend you an ear, uh, a shoulder. She she understands people. She listens to people. She cares for people. And um, it's, um, you know, just, but if this is your energy, it's just let your intuition guide you, right? Let your love and intuition guide you. And since this, this situation here was not for you that you know prepare for the next prepare for the next step because you have the four of wands here which is celebrations within family friends but it could also be a move but you're celebrating and you're celebrating with a lot of um you know uh, a beautiful family family vibe people surrounding you people caring for you and you also have the king of wands and the king of wands the king of wands, he is, you know, someone that actually is going to um, help you, N not only help you, but, you know, really, um, um, inspire you, energize you. So if this is you, you're coming into your, into yourself, you're understanding your intuitions, you're understanding who you are, and you are, you know, you, you, you're, you're, you're not going to be as impulsive. You, but the, the King of Wands is all about passion. And, you know, sometimes he rushes into things. And sometimes he, you know, just thinks, you know, you know, acts before he thinks. So, and, and rushes in. Things have to be done yesterday. I need to know if this person loves me. I need to know what they think. I need to know if, you know, she, he is into me. I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Um, but the queen of the queen of cups is there to say, hey, hey, it's okay. Take time. These are emotions. Let's 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 calm down the emotions. They are there, but let's calm them down. You know, don't rush into anything. I kind of think that you it, these might be your energies Aquarius and you're very excited into, you know, you're passionate. You're passionate about the this this life and, you know, 
let's see if there's another relationship coming in within Mars because um, within the month of March because I feel like there's passion. There's um, you want to make things happen, and you, you you. I almost feel like like wait, wait a moment, wait a second, Aquarius. You just got out of a situation here that was you know, conflictual and you had to isolate yourself and move, move, you know, move away. And, um, you had to, yeah, really reconnect and regroup and get out of that situation. And I feel like there's another situation here where you're coming in with, you know, a lot of passion and, you know, there's the tower at the end of the month where, you know, that sort of implodes. So the tower doesn't mean everything crumbles down. The tower means you understand. The tower means something happens where, you know, it's the aha moment where you realize the situation is not for you or you need to move on or, you know, or that you need to um, get rid of those energies and, and move forward. Let's pull some cards to see what uh this uh situation is all about what you are leaving in the month of march since you are leaving something moving forward moving moving to a calmer space why is the six of swords here clarify the six of swords for aquarius for the month of march 2021 why is the six of swords here yeah you're moving Young energies, passionate. Um, the pages are all about new, new messages coming in. Um, recent. So you had a recent message coming in. Let's see. Let's see why the page of um, wands is there. Too many cards. Me, you know, pages are about things happening now, young, um, fresh energies, not in the past. And they deliver messages or they deliver, you know, I, yes. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call these cards again. Why is the page of wands here? I just feel like those were not the cards. Um... Clarify the the page of wands, please, for for Aquarius for the month. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you wanna you wanna start fresh. You wanna make things official. You're moving. You're moving away. You're moving away from energy, but you want to start something. You want to make something official, Aquarius. Even though you're moving away. Uh, the Hierophant, you have the Hierophant, which is telling me that, you know, the, the, the Page of Wands is all about, you know, new energies and also, you know, messages that are coming in. And this, these messages are telling me that, you know, you want, you want to make things official or you want an end to it. So let, let's put... Let's pull a card on this Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Too many cards. Why is the Hierophant here? For the sign of Aquarius. Okay, I'm going to take these cards. You, Yeah, ooh. Oh my, oh my. Okay, all right. Well, there you go. Four of, <laughs> four of Swords, which is resting. Here you have the, you have the Moon which is, you know, going to the dark side, digging deep in your soul, trying to figure things out, why things happen, why things went down that path that, you know, were so difficult, gave you anxiety, and had you retreat. You had to retreat. You had to move yourself out of there and get some rest. So I'm thinking this goes on the, um, this goes on the, on the uh, Five of Wands. You know, a lot of worries, a lot of anxiety. Um, so you wanted to get married. That didn't happen. Um, why is the the eight of uh, cups there? Why is the eight of cups? I'm sorry to hear this uh, uh, 
Aquarius. It does sound a little like Leo. Uh, you wanted things to happen. You wanted to make things official. Yeah, and it was very, very difficult. Very difficult. And I, I can feel it. I can feel that this was a very good, very difficult situation. You got stabbed. You got stabbed in the back. This is something you really wish for. This is someone you wanted to... I... I I, I'm not seeing cups, I, I, but I, I feel so much hurt and so much anxiety and so much, you know, this is something, this is something that was very, very difficult for you. This was a wish that you wanted, something you wanted so bad, Aquarius, and you wanted to marry this person. I'm, I'm saying marry, I don't see cups, but I really think this is it. You wanted to marry this person, this one, this person, let's see if there's one more card coming out too many cards one more card on the on the higher yes yes yeah your soulmate you thought this was your soulmate you thought this was your soulmate you thought this was you know your person for life your person to you know begin a life with and and um uh you know start a family and um it, it, it was your wish come true this is the person you wanted to live with this is everything you wanted and it did not work out it did not work out and you wanted to get married and i keep feeling that you really wanted to marry this person and um you you wanted to um you want it to work you were both getting along you're both having you know a lot of fun and you 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 really believed that this person was for you but something happened you know again did this person you know move on to something else move on to another person cheating on you you know yeah you wanted this happy family yes i keep i keep hearing the you know wanted this so bad and um it it didn't work out it didn't work out it it um it is something that you had to move along with but you really believed in it and i believe maybe both of you believed in it and for some time and this is not something you you thought would happen, you know, and uh you you had to move move away right and uh this person you know hurt you. sorry to hear that and i I have that almost that same reading with Leo. I believe it was Leo. you can go check it out. But, you know, two people that really enjoy each other, really are having fun, and something happened that, you know, this was your wish come true, and something happened that you had to move away. You had to retreat and, you know, dig deep to get out of that situation. And sometimes, you know, it's very difficult. Yeah, you, you have the King of Pentacles. Um, I, you know, let me, let me call again. Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? Ooh. Okay. Too many cards. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? Wait, let me pull these back in. Two of Wands. Clarify the Two of Wands for uh, Aquarius for the month of March. Clarify the Two of Wands for the month of March, please, for the sign of Aquarius. Yeah, you're you're celebrating now with friends moving forward. Karma, luck is on your side. You're moving forward. You have the Wheel of Fortune. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So once you get out of this path and you understand that this person is not for you, even though that is what you wanted, that is, the, it's the it was for you in your mind the person of your life and um you know the person of a lifetime yes but you're selling you're 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 moving forward from this situation you're moving forward from the situation not to say you might find another love you know within the month of march but you're celebrating moving on from this energy moving away from this energy And, and luck is on your side now, you know, Wheel of Fortune brings, you know, good karma. Once you get out of that situation and you understand that it's not good for you anymore, you move forward. You move forward. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles for the sign of Aquarius? 
Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for the sign of Aquarius for the month of March 2021? Yes, you're, she, this, this, this queen of pentacles is offering you something. She is, uh, you've waited very long for this. You've been waiting. You've been waiting for something. You've been waiting, but these are pentacles because I'm also, I'm, I'm almost thinking that this is a, an opportunity, a job offer, a business offer. Once you've, you, once you get out of this, you know, a love situation um you know that didn't serve you um you have possibilities you have multiple possibilities energies you know moving forward you you have um opportunities uh that you've been waiting for for a long time and you've probably worked on them for a while and you've been waiting for a return of something you have the seven of uh pentacles waiting for you know waiting to harvest you are your your labor whatever you worked in yes and here we're back at this stuck cycle you know of we have the four of wands where you wanted to celebrate you wanted to marry this person there was no no doubt in your mind that you were passionate, both of you, and wanted to marry each other and really thought you were the per person of your life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this. It's, it's, I, it, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just, I'm just, you know, reading what I see. And uh, yeah, you're stuck in that energy. It took you a while to understand that, you know, sometimes, I, I believe it's that Leo again. I, I, sometimes in life, we I am saying the same thing. Sometimes in life we are with someone and it's passion and it's fun and we we really think that this person is the love of our life and that's you know he or she is the one we are starting our life with and we're we're moving forward and we're building a family and it's a soul connection and blah 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 blah. And we realize that that energy is the energy of the beginning of something it's the beginning of a relationship it's the passion in the, of discovering each other and you know like sort of like a you know young young vibes you know that page the pages are young vibes and we, we we have fun together discovering each other everything's new everything's new so we're not even judging we're just having so much fun we don't judge that person we just see everything beautiful everything is um uh Everything is really um, looking like the sun because it's only discovery and we sort of don't see the negative. We only see the positive and we get stuck in that energy. And once reality hits or we're done in that, we're calling that honeymoon phase, well, we see things that we didn't see before, you know, and that, you know, that's, that's, we have, all right, I'm going to take these. We have the, the King of Cups, which is now understanding how to control your emotions. Understanding that you will always have these, those emotions, but to tame them just a little bit and to see the reality, see the fact that, yes, this person was beautiful. Yes, you had a lot of fun, but yes, there wasn't much going on underneath. It was just fun and games, and maybe this person never thought he or she was going to make their, you know, start a life with you or move on to the next step. Or maybe they realized that, no, they wanted something else. Or maybe there was someone else. But definitely you're understanding that to tame that passion of yours, tame that passion of yours and understand that, you know, emotions, especially within a relationship after, a, you know, a few months, you have to, have to, or even a few years, you have to uh, uh, con control them to better understand what the energies are, right? To better understand what you can let in and what you cannot let in, what is true, what is false, what you're seeing through rose-colored glasses and what is actually reality, right? Because we tend to just see everything beautiful and amazing. The person is amazing. Something that we hate in someone else, you know, the day before would love in this person just because we're having an amazing, you know, an amazing time. Uh, yes. Yeah, so obsessiveness, you have the devil obsessiveness, 
you know, the devil is all about obsessing over a person, obsessing on, you know, this is the one. And, you know, it's, um, it's, um, uh, unhealthy, an unhealthy relationship. It's not an equal give and take. It is, you know, that obsessive behavior, exactly what I just said, uh, you know, just make believing that person is for us because we want a person so badly, you know, we just, that's it. That's the person. And even though the person, you know, there are red flags going on and here and there, we don't see them. We're just having too much fun and we're good. That's our soulmate. No, this is, you know, we, we saw the red flags, we, we, but we, we just chose to ignore them, right? Unhealthy, possessive, obsessive, um, you know, round and around cycle, you know, of, you know, uh, um, you know, this, this needing this person, right? And, um, you, you have the, the king of pentacles and you have the fool, which tells me that you're, you're starting new. You're starting new. This obsessive behavior over someone is going to, you know, move, you, you're, you're moving them out of your way. And the king of cups is telling me you're controlling your passion. You're c controlling your obsessiveness over this person and you you you're moving out of this cycle you're starting something completely new the king of pentacles is you know someone very very uh, a leader uh someone's very disciplined someone that is very you know that this has abundance in life so this is maybe someone else you're meeting or this is you that is understanding that you know you're you're going to you you sh you know put a little uh, discipline in there and, um, or, you know, understanding to just move on to a new path, move on to a new path that these energies don't serve you. These energies are just pushing you in that obsessive cycle, you know, round and round and round and round. I can't live with the person, but I can't live without, um, I need more. It's not, it's, it's, it's not good for me, but it's, you know, it's the sort of love hate situation and you're moving forward. You're starting something completely new. Once you move out of that situation, you understand that, that, you know, that, you know, those emotions, you have to tame them, tame them to progress through, you know, um, new energies. The, the King of Pentacles is someone that really, um, has control of the situation and um he he he's a you know he's very he's successful and uh reliable and uh he's very ambitious uh are are you now understanding that you know you're you're confident and you're successful in managing your situation and managing this and and you know you'll you're you're ready to transform a vision into something you're ready to transform your life into something and to see if you know you can you can make this happen because you have the fool and the fool is starting completely new innocently you know jumping off that cliff he's ready He's ready to take a leap of faith and, you know, really get going with life. King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Why is the King of Wands here for the sign of Aquarius? Why is the King of Wands here for the sign of Aquarius? Too many cards. Why is the King of Wands here? Yeah, I'm moving. You're you're still you're you're still moving forward with that emotion, but you're controlling it. You're controlling it. You you you're controlling in your mind. You're controlling those emotions that you really you know that Prince Charming type. This person really rocked your world, um, Aquarius. This person really rocked your world. Yes, a lot of you know you're pushing forward though. You're pushing forward. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, why is the Queen of Cups there? Yeah, seeing that, you know, you're, you're seeing the big picture. You're being wise. 
you're understanding that you know you need to find balance you you're you're seeing you know you you're letting go and you understand that you know it is what it is it is what it is you're seeing reality temperance temperance is letting go letting be what it letting and seeing things for what it is and the tower why is the tower here you have the tower at the end of the month so you're seeing something why is the tower here for the sign of aquarius why is the tower here why is the tower here for the sign of aquarius let me know clarify the tower here why is the tower here for the sign of aquarius yeah you're you you know you have to understand that you know you know you have to keep those emotions in you know in check and you know and i think honestly i think the whole month you are back and forth back and forth back and forth with this relationship this is really something you believed in and it's really something you wanted and and you're really trying hard you i think you have a new that's what i i think you you know you have a bump in the road in the beginning of the month and you maybe you reunite with this person and then back again with the conflict you're starting new and back again with the conflict so this is a, this obsessive behavior you know that you know over and over and over again thinking that this person you know yeah this person is your person this person is your soul your soulmate no matter what and i think that by you know it's codependency this is you know this um um it's it's a uh, it's this relationship cycle this codependency the over and over and over again the thinking that this person is for you but if they don't if it's not an equal give and take if you are not getting you know if this is not a relationship you know with care and love and you you're understanding each other and seeing each other for who you are and you know that you're just you know this is unhealthy for you so i really think that along a lo until the end of the month there's a push pull situation back and forth you know back together separating back together separating and by the end of the month you understand that you know no enough is enough enough and enough uh, enough is enough this person is not for me they have hurt me they you know have not showed me you know they've showed me their true colors and uh that's it you're freezing them out of your of your yeah you have the emperor that's it the emperor rules the world enough is enough not taking any bs anymore i'm controlling this i'm understanding this and i am not letting anybody you know lead the way or control my life anymore or tell me what to do all right I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best, Aquarius. Uh, thank you for watching this reading. Please like, subscribe, comment, uh, hit the bell. Apparently, that's very important too. Anything you want to. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much. I hope you are well. Until then, bye-bye.